going to give you guys a serviceability walk around for the 777G. We're going to start here in the front corner of the machine in the electrical box. This electrical box has a VIMS and an ET port. It has a machine lockout and it has a hydraulic lockout. Um, there's some breakers in here. We've got an auxiliary start receptacle and we've also got an engine uh, disconnect switch right here in this box. The machine the engine lockout and the hydraulics lockout, these switches here activate those lights up there. One does one, one does the other. And that basically tells you from afar if the machine's locked out or if the hydraulics are locked out. The blue light above that is actually a VIMS warning light. It tells, it tells like a mine operator if uh, there's a VIMS event going on in the cab um, from the ground level. You can see that. We'll continue to move around to the side in the corner of the machine over here. We've got a uh, new service center option. This service center option here allows all the fluids to be filled from this location. This particular service center allows you to fill your engine, your steering, your hydraulic, your coolant, your transmission fluid all right here in these five. Here's your fuel and this missing location here you can fill up your grease um, from the front. We also have other service center options that are available. Um, the, the, the standard basic service center option allows you to fill your engine oil here. All your greasing happens at each grease point, and then you have fast, fast fuel um, at the tank. We're going to walk around to the side. The hydraulic tank here, there's a few service points that I want to point out. We've got the powertrain sight gauge right here on the side of the machine, along with the powertrain fill, which is up top, up top there. Um, that's a service point there. You can walk around. You can see exactly where your level is for your powertrain without having to crawl underneath and look at the sight gauge on the side of the torque converter. Uh, it keeps the operator from getting muddy during walk around checks. We've got two sight gauges here on your hydraulic tanks. Those just flip, flip open like that so you can walk around and check those. Continue to walk around to the rear axle. Like I promised on this machine here, there's a cluster lube. You can see how this cluster lube bank works. It's got your grease zerks here and it basically, you can fill up here and it will distribute the grease accordingly. It's not an auto lube system. It's kind of in between your, your basic and your full auto lube. Um, also service back here, you can, you can see your uh, rear axle fluid level. You can tell whether or not it's um, you know, fully, if it's filled to the right level. If you can't see air, it's too full. And if it's below, you see all air, then it's not full enough. So that's how that service port works. This uh, filter here is a filter for rear axle filtration. It continuously filters the rear axle oil. Um, so that, this was a service point for that. We'll continue to walk around to the other side of the machine. Over here to the fuel tank. The fuel tank here, on all 777G machines, there'll be a fast fill receptacle here. It's not on this machine, but it will be from anything we offer from the, the factory. We've got our uh, two different sight gauges here for fuel level that you can uh, walk, check during your walk arounds. Uh, back inside here, there's uh, the filters, two steering filters and a brake filter, all contained within an enclosed container, which basically keeps everything from getting muddy during mud, muddy applications. Those, it's a common location, so you can service all your filters together in one location. Directly behind here, you can't really see it, but on the center tube of the machine, your powertrain filters are right behind there. Um, together for ease of serviceability. One final thing I want to touch, touch on for serviceability wise, I guess two things. Um, one thing is the, uh, the, the filters back in here. You've got engine oil filters and fuel filters back inside there behind this tire. Um, they're located on the engine. And then our primary fuel filter water separator slash prime motor is right inside here on the inside of this front, uh, front pedestal. Um, there, we have an auto prime function which is, uh, works with the key on. If you, if you look back in there, you'll see that there's a switch. That switch has been removed. It no longer works on this machine. The machine takes care of itself. It primes to a pressure. So when you turn that key, it'll, it'll prime for three minutes. If you haven't reached pressure by three minutes, you can cycle it again, and then it'll prime until you reach pressure. Up on top of this platform here, behind our instrumentation, there's a steering tank. We move that steering tank um, back underneath the hood. There's a sight gauge on it. So an operator can check the you know the steering fluid right there and then over next to it here on the side of the radiator you're able to check your coolant fluid